live from Bush Stadium in St. Louis, Missouri, we've got baseball on the show. It's the Philadelphia Phillies taking on the St. Louis Cardinals. First pitch coming your way next. So just about set and pitching here today Kyle Gibson anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance man it's it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one does he have a feel for all of those pitches or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants now it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches but if he can he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. And there's a foul ball. The wind of the pitch. And that one moves his feet. And a pitch. And that one fouled off. Left hand hitter waits. And that one is lifted in the air. Donovan makes the grab. And there's one away. And time now for the Phillies lineup. All right, Siggy, how about all the talent in this lineup? Well, there's a lot of young talent in this lineup. I think as they gel together, gain some maturity over the course of this season, they could be playing October baseball. Here's Turner now. Close, but called a ball. Ball one. Gibson measures six feet, six inches. He features a sinker, a cutter, a slurb, a changeup, and he works in a four seamer. The next oh, pitch cool. misses. Now two and zero. Oh. Nope. Just missed. Come on, three ball, no strike. And hey. the pitch is in for a strike, and the count is three and one. One down, base is empty. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. Burleson makes the grab, two down. Batting third, the first baseman, number three. Two outs, right. base is empty. Here's the Harper. veteran first baseman, Bryce Harper. Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. That'll touch down for a hit. Around first, heading for two. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. First pitch fastball in a great spot to do some damage, and he squared it up nicely. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. And that one lifted in the air center field. And Real Muto is out. And that'll do it. Philly strand one. Now the Cardinals will see what they can do. There's no score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Bush Stadium. On the hill here today, Christopher Sanchez. What should we keep an eye on here? Well, it's a three-pitch mix in the repertoire for this starter. He's going to have to command all three if he's going to have success on the hill today. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Brendan Donovan. The left fielder, Brendan Donovan. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers, that clips the corner.
ground ball right side. Harper He's takes out. it himself. One up, one down. Let's take a look at our lineup. The challenge for him today, Singy, elevating the baseball against this sinker baller that's on the mound. Yeah, that's the challenge, but it also might affect the way they approach base running in this one, Boog. You get a runner on first, you anticipate trajectory down, and when the ball's in the dirt with a good secondary lead, you break for second. So whether it's a stolen base or not, you stay out of the double play, get that runner in a scoring position, and that can help you put more runs on the board. B-I-D, ball in dirt. One out, base is empty. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. And now the count, one and two after the swing and the miss. The wide to kick the pitch. And another ball. The wind of the pitch. Swings and misses. And two away now. Stood absolutely no chance on that slider right there. And I don't mean to laugh, but that's a tough one. I mean, pretty much a perfect strikeout pitch. I mean, it looks like a fastball middle in. Kind of has cutter action, and it just bunches you up to where you can't get your hands through and the barrel to it. And not much you can do unless you recognize the spin early and you spit on it. And now the lefty. And it's fouled away. Two down, nobody on. Fouls it back with two strikes. And he deals. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Redbirds down quietly. We played an inning. No score. New inning getting started. Down the third baseman, Alec Bohm. Alec Bohm. The right-hander back to work. And a foul ball. And the 0-2. Out there to center. That one gets down for a hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already is Matt stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. Fall off foul. Right-hander kicks, deals. And that one ripped to left. And he gets the catch. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those loop hits to get a knock sometimes. Whit Merrifield up to the plate. Right through there for a strike. There it was. Oh, oh, here it is. Hit it. He gets a take, gets ahead in the count. And the right-hander deals. And there's a rocket into the outfield. 
They fired in quickly. So it's first and second with only one away. He was all over that one. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a poor stroke. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. And here is Sosa to the plate. Just missed. Two on, one out. Out towards left center. Two down. Batting nine. The center field. Christian Castro. So first and second with two outs. Here's Christian Pache. Trying to pick up his first knock in the big leagues. Ball one, no strikes. First and second, two down. Here at the top of the second. On the ground, right side. He takes it himself it. to the bag, and that'll do it. Phillies leave a couple. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back in St. Louis as the Cardinals come the up to hit here in the last of the second, bottom of the second. And now it's Yvonne Herrera. Sanchez back to work. That one misses, and that's ball one. Right through there for a strike. And a pitch. Slapped foul. Just misses the mark outside the zone. It's a good take. In the air, right field. Castellanos makes the grab one away. Batting fifth, the second baseman. Here's Nolan Gorman. Gorman. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Merrifield makes the catch. That's out number two. Batting fifth. The designated hitter. So now here's the Cardinals designated hitter. Jordan Walker. Swings and misses at one down below the zone. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Two outs. That's out to center field. Pache gets under it. And that will end the inning. Offense held a check there. End of two here at Bush Stadium. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Back here in St. Louis, top half of the third inning. Here's a big power threat. Kyle Schwarber. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. Hey. And that drops in for a strike. First pitch strike right there for him. He's going to have to do that consistently if he's going to give any length to his skipper. 
Righty delivers. And that is in for a strike. And a count is 0 2. Got him looking. One away. Oh, that was a pretty poor at bat. He just never got the bat off the shoulder. I mean, you got to go up there looking to swing at some point, especially once you're down 0 2. And at that point, make an adjustment, look to put the ball in play if it's anywhere close. And I'm just not sure what the plan was there. Trey Turner at the plate. Oh, great stop. Throws from his knees. Nicely done for the out. But he looks so comfortable making that play. Dives, comes up with it, and then from one knee, like he's just playing catch with his kid. Nice throw across the diamond at first. And now here is Harper. Doubled his first time up. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Two down, nobody on. Lifted in the air, out to left. Donovan on his way over. Squeezes it, and that'll do it. So they make short work of him there. We head down to the home half of inning number three. No score. Set for the bottom we of the third. Warwick now up for St. Louis, Alec Burleson. Alec Burleson. As the lefty gets to work. Outside. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. And here it comes. Bows it off, still one and two. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Tosses across the first. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Good arm side run to that same side hitter right there. Very difficult to put that ball in the air or get through it. Just pours in on the hands. Mason Wynn next up for the Cardinals. Rolled slowly to first. Harper on the run. Sent it over to first. Steps on the bag. Got him. Nicely done there. Well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit. Rolled over on it and beat it into the ground. And here's the rookie center fielder. That's the slider in there for a strike. Two out spaces empty. Next offering is in the dirt. Drive base hit. And that extends the inning. Everything came together for him. No You'll often hear the no phrase no short to it, long More through there. it. And that's a great example of it right there. there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases.
Bogdanovic. Now in the box. Comes up empty with a swing there. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. Here in the last half of the third. On the ground, right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. So no runs here on a base hit. No errors, and one left. On to inning number four. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Back here in St. Louis as we go to the top of the fourth. JT Real Muto steps in. The pitch. Just off the outside edge. And that's ball one. You know, these fills just haven't produced as many competitive at-bats as I'd like to see in this one. I think things are happening a little quicker than this offense would like. And we see it in the numbers. They're hitting into a lot of outs early in the at-bat. The next ball offering three. misses, and that's ball three. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. It's a leadoff walk, and that's the go-ahead run. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. And now it's Alec Bohm, and he's already singled in this game. Real Muto runs. There's a ball. Throw to second, and he's out. Such a quick and fast swing of emotions right there. You get the runner on with the walk, which is great, but then picks a bad pitch to go on, and you just erase the free pass that you were issued. I understand you want to be aggressive. You want to try to get in the scoring position, but you just have to be a little smarter there. Next offering is in for a strike. Fourth inning underway, no score. Pitch. Throw not in time. It's an unlikely infield single. Tough play and a nice backhand stop. Had to be perfect with the exchange and throw to get the out, but it looked like he had to dig in there a little deeper, like he was trying to get a split finger grip or something. Close play, but that little extra time on the transfer made all the difference. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. 0 for 1 so far. And a foul ball. Here comes a pitch. And well, ball out. one. And a base hit up the middle. They get it in quickly. So first and second now, one out. Two consecutive base hits for this team. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. So first and second with one gone. And now Whit Merrifield. One for one with a single so far. And that one fouled off. Two on, one out. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Makes the grab, two down. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. So first and second with two outs. Now it's the second baseman, Edmundo Sosa. He's 0 for 1. And 
And fouled off. This one popped up, middle of the infield. Sizes this one up, brings it in. And that's the third out. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. Bottom of the fourth, and stepping in for the Cardinals, Paul the Goldschmidt. Paul Goldschmidt. The pitch. Goldie in his 13th season, 36 oh years God. old, and he was drafted in the eighth round back in 2009. Out to center, Pache ranging after it, and there's one down. Up next to the Cardinals. The Here's Nolan game. Arenado. His first at bat was a strikeout. Nolan Arenado at the plate. Arenado, guy who delivers big time power at the dish and will probably go down as one of the greatest defensive third basemen of all time. Strike one. And speaking of that defense, it's hard to imagine that in high school, Arenado shared the left side of the infield with another elite defender, Matt Chapman, at El Toro High School in California. 0 and 2 now. Ball one. One ball, two strikes. Account. Here's the new pitcher for the Phillies, Nick Nelson. This is his third time out this year. All tied up. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. A healthy cut, tough pitch at 98. But a really good pass at the ball. Nope. Just missing okay. there. Two balls, two strikes. High fly ball, shallow right field. Two away. Now batting, catcher, Yvonne. Now up the Cardinals' number four hitter, Ivan Herrera. And there's the strike. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. Pache whips it in quickly. Runner holds it second, so another base hit could get us the first run of the game. They got a pitch he could drive, but he didn't get too excited like a lot of guys do and pull off the baseball. Really good timing all the way through the swing, and the barrel was so on playing with the ball. Easy drive into the gap for that double. Now let's see if they can put up the first run of the game. Standing in is the power hitting second baseman, Nolan Gorman. Fly to left his first time. Big swing and a miss. Well, they're looking to get on the board first here after that clutch two out double made this inning interesting. Two outs and one in scoring position. Hard ground ball for a base stop. Runner around third. Fires to the plate. It's off the mark and he scores. 
And it's 1-0. Mission accomplished there as he picks up the RBI to give him the lead. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield. And even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. And up next for St. Louis, Jordan Walker. Ball one there. Two outs. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. A couple of singles back to back. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. First and second, two down. Now up for St. Louis, Alec Burleson. First oh, offering and it just misses. Well, he's just given up three straight hits and now behind in this count to this hitter. Might be a good time for somebody to call a timeout. Maybe the pitching coach go out there and talk to him just a little bit. That one fouled off. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Two on, two outs. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Good job at damage control right there. One run in the inning, but they leave two. We played four. It's the Cardinals one and the Phillies nothing. We go to the top of the fifth and digging in for Philadelphia, Christian Pache. And there's okay. one thing on his mind this at bat getting that first hit at the big league level. Gibson back to work. That's a strike going on. Well these Phillies doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game and the numbers back that up. One thing that really stands out to me is how they've only struck out one time. That's good discipline right there and on top of it they're producing more than a hit per inning. Overall two strikes. And delivers outside. All those numbers mean this offense is really making the defense work by just putting the ball into play. Anything can happen at that point. The wine of the pitch. Fights that one away, still one and two. pitch misses inside now two and two and the righty deals battling here as he fouls it away you're always having a tough time getting a pitch by him as a hitter. You feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. He's got it. And there's one down. Up next for Philadelphia. Kyle Schwarber now at the plate. Kyle Schwarber. That one finds the zone, and it's 0-1. And, and 
And downstairs. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. One down, Phillies down a run. Out to short. And he'll be safe at first. The bat, number seven. Play. Trey Turner now. Ripped on a line. He's got it. Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all over it. It's just frustrating when you can't get it to fall. Maybe next time off, he'll find a hole. Harper. Here's Bryce Harper. One for two. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. Ripped on a line to center. Harper retired. And that is that. One left for Philadelphia, and it remains 1-0. We head to the bottom of the fifth and stepping in for the Cardinals, Mason Wynn. And a pitch. And a strike. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen, Sir Anthony Dominguez getting loose out there. Hoffman also getting ready. Riding to the plate. That's in there. And the count is 0-2. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. And the pitch. The shortstop takes the ball. 0-2 pitch that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at bat. Got him. And that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. Now and now the center fielder. In there at the knees. Oh and one. This one popped up. Turner should have it. Out number two. The left fielder, number 33, Brendan. Now the left fielder, Donovan. Brendan Donovan. That now misses. And that is ball one. Wouldn't chase that time. Two down, nobody on. Last half of inning number five. That's inside. Paul Goldschmidt in the St. Louis on deck circle. Next offering is in for a strike. And that's ball too four, high, that's ball four. Boom, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we oh, gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a false scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Goldie inside, up to hit for the one. third time as he lays off inside ball one.
And that one fouled off. Not even close there. Two and one. Inside just missed. Nolan Arenado waits on deck. Ground ball up the middle. Gathers and throws to first. And they get Goldschmidt for the out. What a play. Inning over. The cards leave one, but they hold a 1 0 lead. All set for the top of the sixth. Here's the speedy catcher, JT Real Muto. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller good at framing but it's that big arm that really stands out right through there for a strike when you got a catcher like this guy with a big arm like that behind the plate it really shuts down the running game out to short win leadoff man retired in the sixth talk about being able to dial up the velocity that first baseman over there might need a little pad inside that first baseman's mitt Here's the third baseman, Alec Bohm. When you have a catcher that can throw like that, a pitcher doesn't have to worry as much about the slide step. He can keep his mechanics intact and have a better opportunity of getting that hitter out with a swing and miss. One down, base is empty. One and one. Just off the inside edge. Bounce to third. Arenado. And a couple of quick outs. The right field, number eight. Castellanos. And now the right fielder, Nick Castellanos. That's in there. Strike one. Oh and one. The Cardinals up by a run, and we're the top half of the sixth. Next one, one misses, and now it's even one and one. Grounded to Gorman. Slings the first, and the Phillies are set down in order. So another good inning for him on the mound. Six shutout innings now. It's the Cardinals one and the Phillies nothing. Out of the bullpen for the Phillies, Sir Anthony Dominguez. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Here's Nolan Arenado. Nolan Arenado. And he deals. Hard ground ball, base now. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. So now it's the four hole hitter, Ivan Herrera. That one is upstairs. And the 1 0. Outside, that's a ball. He's clearly trying to work him away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. Right handed reliever. Rudder takes hey. off. Cut on and missed. Throw. Tag. Out. A bullet from JT Real Muto.
kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. And now two and two. And a good eye there. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Base is empty one away here in the bottom of the sixth. This one smoked out to left. Hauls it in, and there's two away. Now back, second baseman. No and up next for St. Louis, Nolan no Gorman. Man. Picked up an RBI in his last at bat. Still their only run of the game so far. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger. And perhaps the best pitch you'll see in this at bat to hit. Two down, nobody on. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. Left-hand batter waits. And a foul ball, he stays alive. At the belt and fires. That's At down and in. Two outs. Off the mark there. It's two and two. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. That misses the zone. And now three and two. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game winning run. I love his tenacity. Three two. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Payoff pitch. The right hander gives up the two out walk. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. Here's the Cardinal DH, Jordan Walker. And that's down it away. And that's a strike. Swing and all the bat went flying there. Well, we talk about throwing the hands, but not the bat, man. You want to hold on to that thing, and you can see his teammates over there. If he doesn't come through with the knock, he's going to get some business when he goes back to the dugout. Up the middle. They get the force. Play made. That ends the inning. So one left for the Cardinals, but they still lead it 1 0. Now into the game, Brandon Crawford. He's the new third baseman. Here's the left fielder, Whit Merrifield. The left fielder, number nine. Whit. Merrifield. And a pitch. This one lifted in the air, left field. And out number one on the grab. Now that second pitch. Edmundo Sosa Edmundo. stands in for the Phillies. Sosa. Right through there for a strike. Movement in the bullpen for the Cardinals. John King, the southpaw, is throwing and getting that sinker dialed in. Libertor getting cranked up as well. Holding on to a one run lead here in the top half of inning number seven. 
fouled off. He was late. Looking to get the tying run on base. And that's in the dirt. Damn. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. And that's in, off the inside edge. And it's two and two. Good job to fight that one off. In the air, left side. Donovan pulls it down, and there's two gone. Up next for Philadelphia. The center Here's field. the center fielder, Christian Pache. Pache. Just yep, missed. Next one off the plate inside. And now 2-0. Oh. There's a strike. Two balls, one strike. Swing and a miss. Two and two. Well, I'm impressed with that challenge pitch right there. Even with this slim lead, this guy's not afraid to go right after these hitters. Swing and a miss, and that is that. Phillies go down quietly in the inning. They're down 1 0. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Gregory Soto. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pin with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. Well, one we run game. And here is Alec right Burleson. Alec Burleson. As the lefty gets to work. Yeah. There's a strike. Soto, the lefty who lights up the radar gun. He features a sinker, a slider, a four-seamer, and he works in a changeup. And a pitch. Ball one. I got a ball, one strike. Edge hey. of the zone for a strike, and it's one, one and two. Two strike. And here it comes. Bows it off, still one and two. In the air, left field. Merrifield gets under it, and there's one down. Now batting, the shortstop. Mason Wynn, next up for the Cardinals. The shortstop takes the ball. The pitch splits the plate and the count one and two. That's the third. Boom. Throws on to first. Yeah, they get the out. The center fielder, number 11, Victor Scott. Two outs, space is empty. And now the center fielder. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Yeah. 
Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. And that turns the lineup over. The left fielder, number 33, Brendan. Now the left fielder, Brendan Donovan. Now snap throw to first. And he's back in safely. If it were an average catcher behind the plate, I'd say take second base, but this isn't a catcher you want to run on. His quick release is unreal. All one, no and a pitch strike. out, but nothing going on. Oh. Run around the move. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Boom. Brings it in for the third out. One hit, one left. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Cardinals one and the Phillies nothing. And we're back. We're at the top of the eighth. So here's the Phillies D8. Kyle Schwarber. Kyle Schwarber. A wide to kick the pitch. And there's the strike. Usually when a pitcher's had a dominant outing, he has filled up the strike zone and he's gotten ahead in the count with first pitch strikes. Well, that's exactly what this guy has done in this one. Over 70% first pitch strikes. Ball Next one. offering is down low. And yeah, the count even one and one. Left hand hitter waits. Fought off foul. Kicks and fires. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. That one missed. The wind of the pitch. Chop to the left side. Crawford. Whips it across. First out in the top of the eighth. That's a huge defensive play in the late stages of the game. It might not be the most challenging we've seen today, but it needed to be made. That's helping your team. Here's Trey Turner. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. Wouldn't chase that time. Starts him with a breaking ball, but that's a pitch he's really comfortable hitting. You can't rely on breaking stuff to be automatic out pitches against him. And the righty deals. And he gets tied up right there. You tie a guy up like that, you're feeling like you are in command. Trying to hold a one-run lead, and we're in the top of the eighth. Ground ball up the middle, that's a base hit. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. That'll be it for Kyle Gibson, and he was very good. They'll be happy with that, no doubt. We'll be back with a new pitcher in a minute. New pitcher for the Cardinals, John King. These are the spots relievers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. One down, runner at first. Bryce Harper to the plate. King keeping hey. him close. One for three. He's got plus speed. But in this situation, all eyes are going to be over there trying to keep his lead tight. 
And the first pitch misses for ball one. One run game, one out, one on. Turner runs. Pitch is low. Throws safe. That's a stolen base. Well, it seems like 90 feet is such a big deal in a tight one-run game like this one. Maybe it's a little bit risky, but they felt good about it, and it paid off. Let's see if they can turn this into a big run. So the tying run is second. Well, this is... A little tough for the hitter in the back of the mind. You're wondering with first base open, am I going to get a pitch to hit? Got to stay back. Let your hands work. Stay in the middle of the field. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. That one finds the zone. And now three balls and a strike. And now the lefty lined into right. And that'll get down for a base hit. The run scores from second. We're tied at one. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. And now it is JT Real Muto. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning-ending double play. And a foul ball left side. Snap throw to first. Harper's back in a dive. And he'll one. Ground ball left side could be two. Win to second on the Goldsmith. That's two. So one run in the inning on this base hit. All even now at 1-1. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Jeff Hoffman. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate. 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. The pitch. Ball one low. Right-hander kicks, deals. Nope, that misses outside. off the outside edge. Right through there for a strike. Nasty 2-0 slider there for a strike. That tells you he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch. And the right-hander deals. On the ground. Tosses the first. Lead-off man is out here in the eighth. Those now plays can be it. tricky. Good. They're routine, but that doesn't Brandon. mean it's always going to be smooth. He delivered a good play right there. Here's Brandon Crawford. Entered the game on defense, so this is his first trip to the plate in this one. Swing and a pop-up. Turner should have it. Brings it in. Two up, two down. Now batting, catcher, Ivan. Now up the Cardinals' number four hitter, Ivan Herrera. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Counts one and oh. Swing and a miss. Looked off balance that time. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, 
That slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. The one two. That one the other way. Base hit. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive and puts the go ahead run on base. Just a really nice approach to shoot that line drive to the opposite field. There's a lot of hard work and discipline that goes into getting a result like that at the plate. Doesn't come naturally for most hitters. So up next, Nolan Gorman. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. With the go ahead run at first, here the bottom half of the eighth inning. That one, one not close. Two now one and two. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. And yeah, that's outside. And the count is even two and two. Just misses there. 3 2, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Jordan Walker up next for the Cardinals. Fights it off. You'll see another. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. We're back. It's the top of the night. And there's a new pitcher on the mound, Andrew Kittredge. This is his fifth appearance of the year. So digging in, Alec Bohm, known for his late inning heroics. And a pitch. And he takes one right on the black. And that is strike one. Well, that's really the money spot. Down and away, if you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for hitters to square that up. That's what you love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. The pitch. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Field two. And one there's ball. a ball. Two strikes. Righty delivers. Foul ball still a one and two count. And a pitch. Out to short. In plenty of time to first. And they get the leadoff man in the ninth. Good arm side run and sink on that pitch right there. Got inside on him and got him to bounce into that out. Now it's going to be Nick Castellanos. And ball one to the right fielder. Movement in the bullpen. Giovanni Gallegos preparing to come on if needed.
One down, base is empty. And that one fouled off. That's off the mark. Two and one. All tied up here at the top of the ninth. Next Ball offering three. is downstairs. I almost feel like he's frustrated a little bit. He wants to be challenged. Whit Merrifield up next. Here comes a pitch. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. It's a hitter. You don't know what to expect here in the 3 2. If he'll throw a breaking ball 3 1, he'll do it again 3 2. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. And he deals. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. So a man aboard now with one away. The left field, number nine, with Miracle. So a change being made at first base. Pinch running for the Phils. Johan Rojas. Go ahead run on base. Whit Merrifield digs in now. Rudder takes off. Pinch in for a strike. Safe at second with a stolen base. Chris, his wheels were the difference maker on that play. Just got in there. Yeah, with StatCast's help, we see his top speed on this stolen base, and that's a big number. I mean, man, he really made his athleticism work for him on that one. Runner edges away at second. That's smacked on a line to center. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. Two down. Nothing instills more confidence in a team than a center fielder who makes a great play like that on the run. They can feed off the energy he brings just from his playmaking abilities. Here's the second baseman, Edmundo Sosa. Just missed. The one on. Now this is in the air down the line. And a foul ball. Man at second. Popped up. Foul territory behind the play. Herrera drifts towards it. Makes the play and it's out number three. Philly strand one. Score remains tied 1-1. So coming into the game now on defense, Johan Rojas. He takes over and right. And now the DH, Jordan Walker. The designated hitter, Jordan Walker. The pitch. And that one clips the corner. Some bullpen action for Philadelphia. Matt Strong, the lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Righty to the plate. And a swing and a miss. Two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0-2 count. If you're up there at the plate, you got to look up in the zone and spit on anything that's down. Right-handed reliever. And another ball. And that one hit to first. 
Harper oh. takes it to the bag and the leadoff man retired no, here in the ninth. Right. That play won't be trending on social media later on but it's still important to execute it to perfection. This game is a lot harder than it looks partner. Now up for St. Louis Alec Burleson. He was late there, strike one. Well, a oh, come one, and get me down. fastball right there. He didn't look ready for the velocity. I think it'd be a mistake to throw him anything off speed right here. And that one fouled off. Left hand batter waits. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. And here it comes. Gets a piece and stays alive. Base is empty one away. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. Four, and that's off inside. the inside edge. Now one and two. That one way inside. And this is inside. Mason Wynn waiting for a turn at the plate. Side and that is ball four. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Here in the bottom of the ninth, one out. Mason Wynn next up for the Cardinals. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. Strike in there. Throw. Tag. Out. A bullet from JT Real Muto. That goes to show you stealing a base is a tough thing to do and far from a sure thing, even with big time speed. It's not easy to catch him, but that was a great catch and throw. Quick, not rushed, and accurate. Two down, nobody on. Here at the last half of inning number nine. Hard right, grounder into the outfield for a nod. Here's the new pitcher for the Phillies, Matt Strong. Bringing in the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. Here's the center fielder. Outfield playing pretty shallow. That's nope. off the mark. Ball one. He might want to steal second in this spot, but he's dealing with a catcher that has one of the best pop times in the game. He needs to pick his spot very wisely. Step off throw to first. Back standing. He's in there safely. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. Just missed. Chris with that distraction and the speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Trying to send this to extra innings. And a foul ball. Makes the count two and one. And a pitch. Two outs, but the winning run is at first. Oh. 
Got him looking. That's the third out, and we're headed to extras. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Now into the ball game on defense, Michael Ciani. He takes over and right. Now a pinch hitter coming on for the Phillies, Brandon Marsh. Big spot for him here. The right-hander back to work. That one to first, Goldie. He takes it on his own, and they get the leadoff man in the 10th. Not a bad outcome in that spot. The runner moves up to third, and now they have a chance to drive in the go-ahead run. It's not a hit, but at the end of the day, it's a good at bat, especially when you're playing extra innings. Back to the top of the lineup, and here's the Phillies' leadoff man, Kyle Schwarber. Oh, he doesn't get the call, and it's one to no. Definitely a strikeout situation right here. Lots of ways for that go-ahead run to score if the ball's put in play. Towards first. He'll do it himself. Two in a row set down to start the 10. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. So two down now, and here is Trey Turner. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. And that one is lifted in the air. Squeezes it, and that's the third out. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there, and sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. And welcome back to the ballpark. We're in extras here, and here's the St. Louis leadoff man, Brendan Donovan. The pitch. That and misses. Ball one. Ball one, no fight. And the pitch. And fouled off. The one one. Slider misses outside. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. The 2 1. Little oh, chase that man. time. Paul Goldschmidt to bat next. And so the lefty allows the leadoff free pass. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick free pass. Then here's Paul Goldschmidt. 0 for 4. Two ground outs, a fly out, and a strikeout. And that's in for a strike. Well, in this situation with runners on, you've got to get ahead in the count that you can dictate the rest of the at-bat. Nice job right there. The pitch. Oh. Off the mark there, and it's one and one. Way to lay off that pitch down. Winning run at second, no outs. And here in extra innings. High fly ball out towards left field. That's back. Makes the catch up against the wall. Runner tags at second. Try to take on the wind in left field right there. Just a little too much traffic up in the air. Mother Nature won that one. It's hard to say, but I think that might be gone otherwise. Here's Crawford now. Open stance on that left side. Glide out his first time. Here's the pitch. It's a double steal. Man, is he fast. 
And it's so fun to watch. Next offering is in for a strike. He's falling behind in a huge spot. Got to do what it takes to come through. Maybe choke up on the bat a little bit. Spread out those feet. Whatever it takes. Hard ground ball base now. In comes the winning run. And they walk it off in extra innings. So exciting to see a team walk it off. Not so much fun if you're on the other side. But what a great way to win. This team is celebrating. And this win is well deserved. And your final score here today, 2-1. A one-run extra inning win for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon.